I said previously, you are managing a marketplace that is a middleman between the patient and the doctor, and you have to pick the metrics uh, that will be the KPIs, the metrics that you look at in order to properly manage the business. So let's start with putting the business model of the marketplace into drivers. So when we look at the total revenues, it depends on two things. So number of transaction and the average revenue per transaction, obviously the revenue from the point of view of the marketplace. The average revenue per transaction depends on the average transaction value. So the transaction between the patient and the doctor and percentage the fee you take as a marketplace. It can be from a few percent, like two, like it is in the case of Etsy or 50 or even 75, like it's in the case of Udemy. Now let's look at the transactions. So transaction, they depend on two things. How many people search for and what percentage of them is finished successfully. So they basically book the, the guy and book the doctor and go there. So this is the, the percentage conversion. On the cost side, we will have a few things. Once we get the total revenue and total costs, we can get the total margin. So on the cost side, we've got development, people and rent. Like previously, you can obviously go deeper into those things, but they're not that significant cost as it is uh, the cost of traffic. So getting people actually to come and search at your marketplace. And this obviously depends on how many searches you, you want to have, but also what is the conversion rate of visitors to searchers. So not every visitor will search for the doctor. So first of all, you have to get the visitors. To get to the number of visits you want to generate in order to, for this to work, you need the total searches, but also the ratio of visitors to searches. And in order to put it into money, you need the average cost of one visit. So out of this, we get the whole picture of the revenues and costs and how they are driven and what they depend on. In terms of KPIs, what I would pick personally is obviously the average revenue per transaction, which is important. Then obviously the total number of searches, because this is something I want to have and number of conversion. I don't need the number of transactions because it's somehow here already. I would also pay attention to ratio of visitors to searches. So the more visitors are converted to searches, the less visits you need to generate this amount of revenues. And obviously the average cost of one visit is crucial here. This, to some extent, yes, you can probably work on average transaction value as well, because if you increase the, the basket of services bought by the patient from the doctor, obviously this is jumping and you get obviously more revenues as well. So you can pick, pick this, this, total stitches, percentage conversion, ratio of visitors, and the average cost of one visit as the key KPIs that are driving the whole model. So play with it, think about this, even try to put it in Excel to see how it works on numbers.